Oh, hello. Sorry, I was busy grading. Welcome to YTU. This is Professor Nurlari. So you came here today to apply for university even though you're a millennial. And it's okay. We're gonna accept you. Regardless of your wrinkles and your quarter life crisis you're going through. We decide to take people like you in. But you need to understand the pros and cons of this decision. Ugh, these are not mine and it gave me a headache. Anyway, I am here to talk to you about my experience when I went to university at 24. It wasn't an easy decision. It wasn't easy to quit my job and go through all that process. Going to school again after a seven year gap, I think. It was hard, mentally, emotionally, physically. It was just really hard going back to that environment. And also the process of quitting my job, which I will get to that later. Or I'll make another video about it if you want. But I did it anyway, and I don't regret it at all. I was looking for people that I can relate to. Uh, people who are close to my age and uh, start university at that, that age. So I am hoping that maybe you can relate to me if you think that this video is useful. So seven years after I graduated high school, I decided to get my degree. And it has lots and lots of challenges. It has pros and cons, but mostly pros. And I'm gonna go through them with you guys if you're in your middle or late 20s or even early 30s you know it doesn't matter even if you're in for in your 40s <laughs> and you decide to get a degree but there's something stopping you this is what i'm here for and this video is for you so i'm gonna go with you from year one to year four year one was so freaking hard I went into deep, deep depression. I was in my lowest point. I felt so dumb. No, because a seven year gap is not a small gap, okay? I was born in 92 and most students were born in 1999, 2000. And it wasn't a small gap. So I felt dumb and stupid because I noticed that a lot of the girls, they were extremely smart and I was intimidated. For example, when I'm stuck somewhere in the subject or in an assignment or something, I feel like, oh, so now I have to go to these kids and ask for help. I should be the smarter one here. I'm from the superior generation, but it's obviously it's wrong to have that mentality. It's so weird, okay? It's so weird to be surrounded by <laughs> students who are seven years younger than you. That's an entire, you don't even, you didn't even watch the same shows, you don't know the same music. And then you begin to accept it because obviously people have different experiences regardless of their age, whether they're younger or older. But it took me, it took me a while to accept that, to leave that ego behind me, you know, and just accept that I have to work with these students and I'm, I made friends. But speaking of friends, it was very hard to make friends. It was very hard to find the students that I can relate to, that I can, uh, that I have the same interests with, especially, okay, so in my case, the majority of students were Emiratis, I am not. So it was age, nationality, background so it was so hard to make friends and that affected me so much but i eventually made friends with students i also made friends with professors because for some reason i feel like millennials and generation x are closer than millennials and generation z so i could relate to professors more than students which is why I made friends with professors, which is weird, by the way. I still hang out with some of them. We still exchange texts, but that is also an advantage because you learn so much from these uh, professors. I learned so much from them. 
I still learn from them, even that I'm not students with them. Uh, what? <laughs> even though I'm not their student anymore, but I still have contact with them and I still go to them when I need any advice. So I think sometimes that if I never went to college, I wouldn't have met these people. And honestly, I don't know what to do without them sometimes because I am still going through that quarter life crisis even when I graduated. I graduated in Corona virus peak. So even though my CV was more dense than other students because I worked before I went to university, I still haven't gotten a job and I don't know where I'm going with my life. I don't know what I'm doing. So even though I'm not 100% sure if I'm ever gonna use my psychology degree ever because with a bachelor's psychology degree you can't really do anything like you have to have a minimum of master's degree and then phd even better but i still don't regret that i went to university it taught me so much i feel so much smarter after i graduated look i already look smarter just wearing sunglasses and drinking tea So I really think that everyone should try to be in that experience of, you know, university life. It's exciting, you know, when you're like the stress, the adrenaline, the quick meals you have between classes, you go crazy over exams and you know, that was quite refreshing for some reason. It was depressing, but it was also refreshing. Like I feel like everybody should have that amount of stress at some point of their life. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you go through some major, major insecurities when you're in older students, especially... Okay, so in my senior year, I had a professor who was only four years older than me. He had his PhD when he was my age and that freaking crushed me. I was like, that is so unfair. <laughs> You know, a guy who could have gone to the same school as mine is just teaching me right now and I'm begging him for A's. I don't know if this professor is gonna watch this, but I don't mean to disrespect you. I was just talking about, you know, age feelings. I'm just explaining how my age made me feel. Obviously, it felt normal to the other students because he, the age gap was normal for a professor and a student but it wasn't normal for me so I was like... But then I worked with him on research, obviously I took classes with him, it was fine, I got over it. But you do, you do feel this, you do have these moments of insecurity and just feeling that you're dumb and you're behind. But it's okay, trust me. And the graduation feeling was amazing when I actually felt that I did something except that I didn't have a graduation party and I graduated actually from home because it was 2020 and oh I just realized I said it was 2020 that feels so good <laughs> anyway my point is when you finish all this it feels so good like for four years you've been seeing the lights end of the tunnel and then you actually reach it and you feel like you've done something it doesn't matter that you're older it doesn't matter that you're called a mature student it doesn't matter you should be proud of yourself i know i am so i think if you're questioning whether you want to do it or not i think you should do it i don't know if this video is at all helpful but from my experience i would tell you it is so worth it. When I was going through this, I was looking for people who have been there, who understand how it feels like. And I read a lot of blogs. I saw a lot of videos. I read some people on Reddit and it made me feel so much better that I'm not the only one. And you should do too, because you're not the only one. I am here with you. So I thought maybe this will give you a push to start 
and if you already started but you're having doubts and you feel like giving up maybe this will help you maybe not but i'm just glad that i had this experience i got to try it i learned a lot from it i hope this was helpful if it was you're welcome if not maybe watch more videos of people who talk better than me but i just wanted to deliver this message that you can do it it is worth it and just go for it just start just next semester just go you know just be there i mean you're gonna be home if you're studying from home but just start seriously and i already miss it by the way like there are some moments that are so special to me there are some people that are so special to me i met a lot of people that i really really truly love in university i have a lot of friends i never made i never thought i will have friends who are this young if you're watching this i love you guys and yeah that was it if you think of starting just start it's gonna be worth it trust me i mean if it's not then don't blame me please but i'm talking from my personal experience and from what i read on the internet before i start and halfway when i almost gave up a lot of people t told me the same thing and they were actually right and thanks for watching guys bye